Welcome to City Talk. My name is Sabrina Odom. I am the Executive Director for the North Columbia Business Association. Hi, I'm Veronica Rodriguez. I'm Vice Chairman of the Board of the North Columbia Business Association and this year's Chairman of the 2018 Cornbread Festival. The uh, Cornbread Festival is the North Columbia Business Association's annual fundraiser um, that is designed to benefit the community. Um, it is a lot of fun and a lot of fun to put together. This year we have a lot of very special events and one in particular that I'd like to talk about is um, we will have Miss Sonia Grantham with us. Miss Grantham is a historian and is nationally recognized uh, for her work in uh, with corn. Uh, corn is a recognized jubilee crop um, and she knows all about what that means and how that happens but her presentation is fascinating. She talks about the role of corn uh, in America's various wars uh, for subsistence as well as strategic uh, uses. Um, so her presentation is fascinating and she's going to be doing that at one o'clock, three o'clock, and five o'clock in the community room. So we're very excited about that. We also have a lot of other events going on at the festival. Sabrina, you want to tell yes, us about those? Yes, and the other activities we have um, this year, besides the corn traveling museum i call it we will also have the cornbread brunch that warmouth is doing at 11 o'clock a.m and um that's to bring people out to the festival early and enjoy a great brunch with the Warmouth um, restaurant in our area. We also have the cornbread eating contest. We also is gonna have the um, In The Coffee Mike Night patio out there. And of course, our Playland, that, that's what we known for, a big family event where all the children can ride for free and do all their activities for free. And it's just $5 to get in. We also have, of course, a lot of other vendors coming out we have the um pineapple lady who was a hit last year yes. there was a long line at, uh, for her the entire day through to the end people were still trying to get pineapples um, of course we have barbecue vendors and and all the normal festival food um snow cones so on and so forth um we Chrome's will have peanuts, beer available yeah. cromers uh mm -hmm. has a spot um and in addition to that we have the children's area we have all the rides of course and we have a wonderful new face painter um who's going to be doing face painting for free for the children all day long so um, and we think that Earlwood Park is the ideal venue for us. We have moved the festival around. Um, those Many of you who times. follow us know we have moved it from <laughs> time to time. But we think this is our home and we're settling in and, and we're going to make uh, great use of every part of that park. There'll be something for everyone. We'll also have golf carts uh, available to transport seniors uh, from different places to the other because I know that it's a lot of walking at, at some parts of the park or a little hilly. Um, so don't worry about transportation. Um, and we'll have security there. Um, and just want everybody to have a wonderful, safe family time. We couldn't even have this festival without the partners. That's right, that's right. And the city partners. and the county has always been a very good partner with us, but I want to name a particular department that always partner with NCBA, and that's the city OBO office. Yes. And I just want to thank our new executive director for the OBO office for jumping on in on the cornbread train with yes, us. Right. Thank I you really very, appreciate very much. everything you do. Right. And you want to name some other partners? We, we also may get have? a lot of assistance from the community development department within the city. They're a, a, a wonderful partner. And then we have some wonderful friends at the county that do all kinds of things for us. When we call and holler <laughs> in the, um, the county, both the county and the city uh, have been wonderful in providing their resources to NCBA over the years for the Cornbread Festival as well as other things that we do because we are always uh, trying to help a business solve a problem or um, provide some instruction for someone who's interested in coming into the, the North Main area to start a business. Um, that's what we're about, being sure that businesses have the resources that they need to, um, to do well in the North Columbia area. And it's going well. North Columbia is blossoming and growing and we're very excited about the progress that the area is making. Well, there is always a, an annual 
legal challenge between the city and the county. It's general, generally city <laughs> council members and county council members, and they select one person to do uh, a cornhole toss. Uh, in the past, <laughs> it was a cornbread toss. Um, I believe that out of our five years that we've held it, the county has won three times and the city twice. Four, four and one. Oh, so it's it's a strong challenge. Um, last year the city won. Yes. So the uh, trophy is with the city at the moment, but um, the county is is gunning for you. It's so ready for you. We look forward to seeing that. That's always a, a, a fun event. You can contact me, um, Sabrina Odom at 803-900-2664, or you can go to our website, northcola.org or our new website, nomacolumbia.com. On behalf of the Board of Directors and staff of the North Columbia Business Association, we want to thank you for listening to City Talk today, and we look forward to seeing you at the annual Cornbread Festival. April 21st from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m.